Okay, so I am back recording some tournaments. It's another Sunday. Currently got three tournaments left. We've got this mystery bounty here. We've got this uh, 1K Masters here. And, oh, I'm gonna be shoving the tens in this one. It does look like we're sitting on the exact same stack as him. So we will get a bounty if we end up winning this pot. Here we go. Uh, unfortunately, just get folds. So we got Ace Jack now. I've got 100% V pit because I literally just re entered this tournament and I've managed to triple up within like four hands. I've got aces and then another one we got two pair, but I hadn't started recording by that point. I think mixing between raise and flat here is probably good. Uh, unfortunately, this guy does shove and I imagine he has a pretty strong hand because it was literally a 60 big blind shove. Oh, here we go. I think late reds will be closing shortly. So we're getting to quite important stages in the tournament and we've got kings in the big blind. Oh, please don't just fold around the whole way. So he does just limp. Let's hope he's got a hand which he uh, wants us to ISO and he's gonna shove with, because we would be snapping that off with kings. I mean, he calls, which is good. And I mean, this is pretty much the nuts because, uh, well, Okay, I say the nuts, I'm exaggerating, but he's never got ace king, he's never got tens, queens, jacks. He can have queen tens, jack queen, so he, he can have two pairs, but nevertheless, I'm feeling very confident about our hand on this board with the pre flop action. I mean, it's not the turn card that I wanted to see. I definitely can't size up, but I do think with kings, value betting small still works quite nicely on the turn. And, you know, if it has a nine, potentially prevents him from betting huge on the river. I don't really expect to see, oh, I was about to say, don't really expect to see many raises, but <sighs> he just has a nine here, but we've got a call. We've still got outs with the kings. He just shoves. I mean, I, I've got a fold, like, surely he just doesn't ever bluff this. Such a sick turn card. I, I just think he's he's always got a nine here. <sighs> I don't like laying this one down, but I think we've got it. Okay, I mean, potentially a bit of a consolation at least, getting queens in the next hand. He's gonna have quite a lot of shoves here with like suited hands, all this sort of ace -X. Yeah, exactly. He does just shove. Also here, I think with the bounty, I think I've got to call this off with 10-9 suited. Don't know, it's just probably kind of close. Oh, good flop. Yes, can we get there on the turn? Can we hold the river? Nice, good. We get that locked up and we're going to call the queens off here. Hopefully we can get a double up. Ace eight, yeah, as I say, he's gonna be shoving all his ace X. Hearts out there. Okay, nice, can't get hearts now, so. Just gotta fade the ace. Okay, nice. Guess that makes up for the king's hand a little bit. Just before the break, we've got ace king again on this table. Certainly happy seeing shoves, and especially just off this short stack here, because he's gonna be shoving worse ace X. What, this guy just shoves it in pretty quickly. I mean, I, I don't like this because this does seem pretty strong, but ace, king, nines. Okay, he doesn't have an ace, which is good. Oh. Ah, man, we get there with a king, but it just hits the nine. It's annoying, would have been such a big pot to win. Okay, so I did late reg this tournament again. We're just sitting with 10 big blinds. Hopefully I haven't just paid 1K to just go out on the first hand. Oh God, he just snap calls. That is not a good sign. Nine, come on. Well, that was a short tournament. Got ace nine in this mystery bounty. Hope to see a shot. Okay, we're only covering one guy, so we're not gonna be playing for any bounties in this hand. We see a call from the small blind, which you expect a lot because people are gonna be calling looser when there's this bounty at stake. Good flop. We're gonna be betting this one, and if we see like a shove or raise, then we'll just be all in. 
but no, just folds. So due to having a short stack in the big blinds and a couple of other shorter stacks, we will open twos even from under the gun. Generally, I would be folding this one though in different formats. Oh, that is just what we want. To be honest, even if this bigger stack shoved, I'd probably just call off because playing for this mystery bounty, come on. King, queen, yes, we're flipping. Come on, holding so far. He's got quite a few outs. Come on, put something low. Yes, mystery bounty. Come on, we got 100k up top, potentially 80k bounty. Never ever had a big bounty in my life, so would love it if this is the first time. Okay, our mystery bounty streak lives on. It's kind of annoying. I've actually had some like good runs in bounty in these mystery bounty tournaments, but in terms of the actual mystery bounties themselves, I've never had more than like a 1k bounty or something. And it would be nice just for a video one time just to have like a, a top mystery bounty. That would be a, would be elite. I was about to say if he bet on the flop, I'd probably be check raising with uh, backdoor clubs. Also, we got the four. It would definitely be a hand that can be in our, our check raising strategy. We're gonna check on the turn now with the king though. I'm gonna to expect to see a lot of bets, which he does. We're certainly not gonna be raising this one. We'll just call. Cool. I'm hoping he doesn't go for like a huge size and on the river now he checks. We'll, we'll be ahead, yeah, 10, eight. I mean, just played it fine, betting on that turn and then checking river, standard. So here, I don't think we have any fold equity really in these mystery bounties. So I did just call with the ace three suited. Good flop, we're certainly just gonna be checking back if it checks over to us. It does go for a bet though. We'll just start off with a call. Problem is with our kicker, if he starts going, you know, 75% on the turn, it's gonna be tough to be calling. Okay, now that he checks, that's quite a good sign. Could potentially be checking with like a, a king jack or something, which bets flop. So I will bet small on this turn and then probably just check back river. If he just goes for like a, a shove now, then probably just have to fold this. But yeah, he, he folds himself. I'll open up the king eight suited in the mystery bounty. We get a call, like you're gonna expect looser calls than in other formats. I'm just going to check this over because this is just not our flop. It's a good turn card though. If he bet that flop, I was just going to have to fold and now he spiked the king on the turn, which is pretty good. With the eight kicker, I definitely could check this over, but quite draw heavy board. You know, there's two spades, two diamonds. Not the, uh, the river card I was hoping for. I suppose I'm going to just go for like a, a small block bet here. Just don't want to see a shove. <sighs> yeah, I mean, if he's bluffing here, then whatever. But <sighs> I don't think I can call this. Like, yeah, I just got to fold. Anyway, over on this table, I've shoved the ace nine suited. I'd happily take a call to be fair, because ace nine suited is going to be towards the the stronger end of our shoving range from the button. Oh, aces, come on. We lost a few chips in that last hand, but potentially that block bet on the river actually paid off and saved us a few chips. Good thing is, it's easier to get double ups in these mystery bounties, uh, as they will be calling looser. We are gonna whack this up to three big blinds, expecting calls, like he shouldn't have many folds here. And it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's a good flop, but one that we're gonna struggle to get value from, really. Just gonna start off with a small bet. Um, I mean, question is, do I just check back or continue? You know, if he has like Jack with a heart, seven with a heart, he's still gonna wanna call small bets. So I do like betting on the term of the aces and the heart, uh, but he just folds. We'll call seven, four. Okay, we've got the gut shot. Probably gonna click this flop back if he calls. I'm gonna do this with some strong hands like trapped aces here. Yeah, so we'll click it back. Hope to just see folds. I mean, if he shoves, I've got a fold, even though we do have outs. Yeah, nice, we just get it through like that, which is good. Okay, in this mystery bounty, I'm just gonna straight up shove this one. I mean, fairly standard. 
and probably expect to be called quite a lot. The top 100k bounty is still in play. You know, if it wasn't in play, then you don't necessarily expect it as loose calls. But when the big bounty is still in play, everyone does get a bit splashy. But no, folds. I didn't expect that. Would have been good flop. Uh, here, eight big blind stack. Certainly going all in for this one. 225 bounty, which is, is bigger than the buy-in. Ace deuce. Okay, nice. Just avoid the deuce. Looks like we're going to lock this one up. Oh, I said avoid the deuce, but we actually hit the eight on the flop, which I didn't even realize. So basically locked it up on the flop. And nice. We uh, we chip up. We're getting closer to the, you know, the, the big money stages now. And we win another bounty, which is good. It's not the biggest tournament that I'm in today, but it's still got a 360k prize pool overall. Probably about 30k for first, I imagine. So, you know, nothing to be sniffed at. Okay, so here I've called the 10-5 uh, the suited. Against 2.6, I'm just going to call. Wow. Oh, on this table, we've got ace-king and we get a shove. Come on, let's win this and get a mystery bounty. That would be huge. The 100k bounty is still out there. Okay, I mean, a chance for a triple up here. Ace 10, tens, come on. Let's go. Okay, we just need to avoid the 10 or queen. I mean, there's already three tens out there. Ace, yes, come on. Okay, so not only do we win a big pot, but we've got a chance for a big bounty. There's no 80k bounty, but the 100k is... Where's the... Oh, I was about to say, where's my bounty? Oh. It's, it's weird because in these mystery bounty tournaments, I've actually ran like really well, generally, like winning a lot of all-ins, but I've never ran well in terms of actually getting the bounties, but as long as I'm winning the pots, that's the most important thing. There's still a good amount of prize money to play for in the payout, so it's not all about these bounties, but at some point I would like to win a bit of a bigger bounty than, uh, than $260, but yeah, let's see where we go with this after the break. Right, so here, blind v blind, uh, king five, and with his bounty as well, we're gonna be shoving. Uh, he seems to be thinking about it. Oh, he calls. King nine. Ah, <sighs> oh, and he wraps it up. Jack. Ah, uh, that's annoying. Uh, anyway, back to this mystery bounty. I called the Jack eight and 585 board. Paired boards, you do raise uh, quite often. Certainly could be raising with the jack eight here. Nice, just uh, flop folds. And here, right, we've got two big blinds left. Can we stay in this tournament after after losing those chips? So this guy shoves. Shoving into a, a 26 big blind stack, I imagine he's quite sh What? I was about to say, I imagine he's quite strong and he just rocks up with queen A offsuit. Oh, nice. We basically almost get a triple up here, so that's pretty good news for us. We're still still in with a shout in this tournament. Oh, and now I've got ace 10. And if this guy is shoving queen eight like that, then he's probably just gonna be shoving anything here again with, with seven big blinds. So we'll happily shove the ace 10 off again. Really actually wanna see a call from this guy again because he now folds. I mean, okay, we get a call from the big blind, but again, it's kind of what I want because he should still be calling. A lot looser than Jack, uh, a lot looser than Ace-10, sorry. Okay, so we might be up to 16 big blinds if we fold. Oh, oh no, yes, we we had a, uh, a club, which is good, so doesn't matter about the Jack or eight. Nice, so we've suddenly gone from losing almost all our chips to then getting a triple up, double up, and now we're pretty much back to where we were. <laughs> It's one of the most important things, which was probably one of my weaknesses early on when I started playing poker. Like I'd get like a two big blind stack and I, I just shove with anything. And sometimes you can literally just get like triple ups, double ups and just be right back in tournaments. Like even if you've just got a small stack, you don't want to just be playing stupid. You've got to value everything you have and just play exactly how you should. Nice, we've got a sweet spot here in this mystery bounty, ace king, and we've got all these stacks here, which we cover. 
Unfortunately now, most of the big bounties have been taken, but there is still the top prize of 100k bounty, which is still out there. So still that one, really clean flop. We're just gonna be small betting this one, of course. And yeah, folds on the flop, which you expect quite a bit. And now back to this tournament, chance for another double up here. Okay, we've got ace queen suited. Uh, we get an open from this player and we're just going to be shoving. I also wouldn't mind if like one of these short stack shoves and just play for a bounty. I mean, we, oh, this is a, an interesting spot now, but I do believe ace-queen suited. I've still just got to go for this one. Like It's one of those spots where you don't love it, but 11, 12 big blinds. You know, he's still going to have a lot worse raises than ace-queen suited, so... I think I've got to still go for it, but it is kind of close. Ace nine, yes. Good flop. <sighs> Not the turn card we wanted. That's annoying. Could be up to 28 big blinds and in such a good position in this tournament. Uh, it's rough. I mean, especially when this guy's three bet and ace nine off suit, I am just gonna be shoving the ace 10 here. Snap calls, ace 10. <sighs> well, at least he's not got any diamonds. Really good flop. We're going to be checking this one over a lot against a button call. On this board, though, I think I'm going to be check raising this for sure. Because the thing is, you know, we, we've got the flush draw. And unless he's got a set, he's quite capped on this board. When I'm putting in raises, he's kind of got to think, like, all his sevens, sixes, they're going to want to be folded. All his random betting hands are going to want to be folded to raise. Like, we can generally just push quite a lot off here. Yeah. Just seen a fold, which is good. Would have been a king on the turn, which would have favoured us a lot. And I imagine uh, if we would have bet that turn, if he would have called, we would see a lot of folds. But yeah, happy with how I played that one. We'll open up the a7 suited. Not bad. I would say this hand prefers just being checked back. Okay, we get two pair, but it's quite draw heavy board, three hearts out there. Like I'm not feeling too comfortable with this two pair. Although when he starts to bet small, I do think it's probably strong enough to raise. He could potentially have, you know, ace X with a heart or something that calls or a jack X with a heart. He might just be uh, betting out the king of hearts like this, although I'd probably expect bigger sizings. Jack nine of clubs. We get a button call. Ooh, we don't mind that. Gonna check this over. Most likely just gonna start off with a call if he bets. Yeah, he does, which you expect a lot of hands to do. And, you know, a lot of his pocket pairs, which call button, are going to want to do this as well. So start off with a call. Okay, so he bets again on the turn, but he goes quite small with his sizing. So I'm probably going to raise this in case he's got, like, diamonds or still might want to call some of his pocket pet, like his, his eights, tens. Unfortunately, just folds, but I think the uh, the raise on the turn was decent. Right, back to this tournament. We are still left in it. Sixes, uh, yeah, we're not going to be making a pay jump, so we'll just rip it. Zero fold equity, so we're going to be all in. Ace king, don't mind seeing that. <laughs> Somehow we're just surviving in this tournament. Like, I mean, I'm not, you know, winning any bounties because. I'm just sitting on a short stack, but whenever we look like we're about to head out, we just keep doubling up. Right, so we have been hanging on by the skin of our teeth in this tournament. Can I hold on with the Ace King here? I've not won many bounties because I've, I've just not really been covering anyone. I've just been surviving by getting double ups. I would expect us to be getting called most of the time here with our bounty. Not that it's huge, but it looks like actually we're just going to get the Ace King through. To be honest, I, I kind of wanted a call at this stage off nine big blinds. But we get folds and we, uh, we live to fight another blind. Okay, Ace 10 again. Another hand that we're going to be shoving. Will we see... Another hold. Right, here we go. Come on. I'd definitely take a double up at this stage because that could be final table material if we get a double up. 
he's not snapped which is actually really good considering like it's a bounty tournament because like this he folds I did not expect that. We survive again. This is getting crazy. Oh, here. Yeah. Definitely going to be shoving against this player because he's going to be opening super wide. Uh, yeah, he calls. King, queen. Come on. Oof. When this guy's just got this many bounties, you know, he's just on one of those runs. That's annoying. Finished just short of the final table, which is, uh, yeah, pretty annoying because we had such a good run in this tournament, just constantly uh, surviving, getting double ups. We had two big blinds at one point and managed to finish 17th, so pretty annoying to lose that flip right at the end because that would have put us in a good position to be getting some decent money here. But whatever, we did well to survive as long as we did. And we've still got this mystery bounty. We are ninth of 36. Still got the uh, the 100k bounty up top. Unfortunately, most of these other big bounties have gone 3.3k. I mean, not that bothered about that. More bothered about this 100k bounty, to be honest, or the, uh, the payouts. Ace King, three consecutive hands we've managed to open here. Can we make it three consecutive pots on the bounce for us? Oh, this guy calls. Uh, he's gonna have quite a few pocket pairs so i may potentially just check back i've got good equity with ace king yeah we'll just check it back not a great turn card could still be ahead of some suited stuff here so it would be nice if we just get to the river oh what a good river card now i'd say especially against a player who's been on the tight side it's going to be quite difficult finding uh getting calls here but We'll go for a pot size bet regardless. Oh, he does call cool and we'll definitely be ahead. King Jack, yes. So that really um, really paid off by just checking uh, the, the ace king there on the on the flop and turn as he would have just snap folded flop if we would have bet out. Uh, we'll just call cool with King Jack. Completely missed the flop, but it's quite a nice betting hand. Hope to just fold out all of his hands that have missed with a small bet, but I'm not gonna be going crazy with this one. Does call. Probably check back turn, but potentially bluff. Oh, get there on the river. Well, I mean, hopefully we get there. Hopefully he's not got like a, an ace jack or, or trap him with a pocket eight. Oh, he goes big. Really don't like this. Like, I know this is just a pure call. I just don't have a good feeling about this one, but... Yeah, 9-5. Why did I not just raise him when he's opening those sorts of hands? It was stupid of me just to flat there with the King Jack when he's opening like 9-5 off. Let's make up for that last pot that we lost against the 9-5 off. Only 22 left and we've still got that top bounty in play. Oh, we get a shove with Jacks. Come on. I'm just ripping it in. I don't care. Come on. Queen 10. Good flop. Right, just fade the queen. As long as we don't see any pain. 